the rules of family building and the ways to protect it. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book and among his sign is that he created his spouses from among yourselves for you to live with in tranquility. He ordained love and kindness between you. There truly are sign in this for those who reflect. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his last messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his companion, his household, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The existence of a family in one's life is one of the greatest blessings of the Almighty Allah, who said in the Quran, and it is Allah who has given you spouses from amongst yourselves, and through them He has given you children and grandchildren, and provided you with good things. How can they believe in falsehood and deny God's blessings? Family is a nucleus of a society. And it's the first means of protection. This is why Islam is very keen on building, building it on a strong and coherent foundation. In order to achieve affection and compassion among all of its members. The Islamic Sharia urges spouses to select their partners very cautiously. The Islamic Sharia urges spouses to select their partners very cautiously in order to achieve stability in the marital life. The Sharia also focused on the condition that every partner, that's very important, every partner must be able to bear all family responsibilities, either the financial, social, or psychological ones. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, O oh, young men, O oh, young men, whoever among you can afford to get married, let him do so, for it keeps you looking at a strange women and preserve you from immorality. And whoever cannot afford it should fast, for it a means of suppressing sexual desires or sexual desire. The Islamic Sharia emphasized the importance of raising children properly and letting them realize their responsibility towards the religion, society, and homeland in order to establish a strong and balanced family by instilling religious and societal values and the beneficial custom in the heart of children. Because they are a responsibility put in the parents' shoulders. The Almighty Allah said, believers, believers, guard yourselves and your family against the fire fueled by people and stones. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, indeed, Allah will question everyone who is responsible for his charge. Allah will question everyone who is responsible of his charge. He has preserved his responsibility or failed to keep it. Until he questions a man about his family. In addition, the goodness of a children is a source of happiness for their parents in their life and in the hereafter. Allah the Almighty said, those who pray, our Lord, Give us joy in our spouses and offspring. Make us good examples to those who are aware of you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When a man dies, his deeds comes to an end, except for three. Continuous charity, knowledge by which derived benefit, and a pious son who prays for him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, showed us that the best of people either among men or women, is the, man, is the one who is the best for his family. 
The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the best of you, the best of you is he who is the best to his family. The Prophet وسلم, said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best one of his family. He was the best husband, the best father, the best grandfather, and, and one who bear no goodness for his family will not bear goodness for anyone else. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, his companions and followers. In fact, Islam pays much attention to preserving family as a coherent entity based on love, respect, and mutual appreciation. When reviewing the Quran, one finds that the Quran uses the word zawj, one of the spouse, for both the man and the woman. Without using the word zawja, which is a wife, it is as if it is as the Quran equates verbally and morally between them. Allah said, They are clothes as garment to you. As you are to them. Allah also said, wives have rights similar to their obligation. In another ayah, Allah said, men have the portion they have earned and women have the portion they have earned. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said in his farewell sermon, you have rights over your wives. You have rights over your wives and they have the rights over you. The relationship between the two spouses is based on tranquility, affection, compassion, a mutual right and duties. Away from all form of superiority, the family life cannot go in atmosphere of rudiments, superiority, and oppression but in atmosphere of the appreciation and mutual respect. And the attempt of all parties to create happiness, endure difficulties, and face challenges. Abu Darda once said to his wife, when you find me angry, very important, when you find me angry, try to please me. And when I find you angry, I will try to please you. Otherwise, we will not continue our life. How it is a beautiful that families have a quiet, happy, and stable life in order to get happiness in this world and in the hereafter. Oh Allah, give us joy in our spouses and offspring and make us good example to the pious people. Thank you.